How's it going everyone? I'm Matt from Universal Audio and today we're going to check out the Fairchild Tube Limiter Collection. This collection gives you two authentic emulations of the most coveted vintage compressors in the world, fully modeled from end to end including all the tubes and transformers that give Fairchild compressors their unmistakable character. You get two models, the full featured Fairchild 670 and the easy to use Fairchild 660, each with their own unique sound and response to fit a wide range of uses from subtle to aggressive. We've also added plug-in only features that make these compressors right at home in modern workflows, like a mix control for simple parallel compression, sidechain filters, mid-side mode, and adjustable headroom for even more versatility. Let's check out a few examples and hear why these compressors are the holy grail for so many engineers. So we're gonna start by checking out the Fairchild 660, which to me is the ultimate compressor and tone box for vocals. It has super simple controls, so it's really easy to dial in. And even before you start compressing with this thing, just turning up the input gain to get those tubes working really starts to thicken up the sound in a way that I really like. So let's take a listen to what that sounds like. Oh, you know I came to play. Keeping y'all honest, rising from the stone with the keepers of the promise in a new direction, but still trailblazing sonics. I've been in it for the longest, but just getting started, oh. So now that I've raised the input gain, I'm driving into the compressor harder and you've noticed that I'm already starting to get some gain reduction. The next thing I'm gonna do is adjust the threshold to get the amount of compression that I want. Oh, you know I came to play. Keeping y'all honest, rising from the stone with the keepers of the promise in a new direction, but still trailblazing sonics. I've been in it for the longest, but just getting started, oh. So I love the way the Fairchild 660 thickens up these vocals and brings them right to the front. And 90% of the time, this is all you're gonna need to do to get a great vocal sound. Now, one setting we haven't talked about yet is this time constant knob, which sets the attack and release of the compressor together. Now, I really like the first position, which has the quickest attack and quickest release for a really punchy, aggressive vocal sound. If you want a little more transparent sound, you can try the second position, which has a slightly longer attack and release. Or you can also try the sixth position, which has the same attack, but a multi-stage release for even more transparency. Let's take a listen to what those settings sound like. Oh, you know I came to play. Keeping y'all honest, rising from the stone with the keepers of the promise in a new direction, but still trailblazing sonics. I've been in it for the longest, but just getting started, oh. It's the fuel for the fire, a flip for the switch, and we're taking it higher. Edge of your seat, down to the wire. Now get up on your feet, sound to sing with the choir. So the second and sixth positions do sound pretty good on this vocal, but I still really like the first position for that really punchy sound. So now let's move on and check out the Fairchild 670. And one of my favorite uses for this thing is on a drum bus. Now I'm gonna start just as I did with the vocal example. I'll turn up the input gain and then raise the threshold knob to get the amount of compression that I want. And this time I'm also gonna engage the sidechain filters, which makes the compressor less reactive to the kick drum and keep some of that bass intact. Let's hear what that sounds like. So these settings do a really good job of controlling the peaks on the drums and keeping everything at a constant level. But as usual, when I reach for a Fairchild compressor, I really want that aggressive in your face compression. So let's play around with a time constant to see if we can get that. So just like on the 660 vocal example, I love the first time constant setting since it has the quick attack and quick release that really brings up all the space between the transients and adds a ton of energy to the drums. Now, just for fun, if I wanted to make this even more intense, there's a couple ways I can do that. First is the DC threshold screw in the bottom right. This lets me change the knee and the threshold of the compressor together. If I turn to the right, it's gonna lower the threshold and make the compressor kick in even harder. Now you'll notice there's two pencil marks on this screw, Cal and OWR. 
Cal is the factory calibration setting that Fairchild would have used at the factory, and OWR is the setting that Oceanway Recording used on the unit that we modeled. Now the other way we can make this more intense is with the headroom screw. This basically changes the internal operating level of the compressor, and if I turn to the right, it's gonna make the compressor more reactive to whatever I put into it and make it compress even harder. If I turn it to the left, it's a good way to back off the compression without touching any other settings. So those adjustments made the compressor super punchy, but it's probably a little too intense. So let's bring this back to reality by pulling down the mix knob and blending some of the dry signal back in. So as we've heard, the Fairchild compressor has character and vibe that really speaks for itself, and it really shines when you push it into heavier compression and saturation. When combined with some of our other plugins like the 1176 and LA-2A, you have a triple threat of classic compressors that can handle any task. You can try all these compressors out today as part of U80 Spark, or the Fairchild collection can be purchased individually, either natively for Mac and Windows, or for Apollo and U82. Now don't forget to check out the product manuals at help.uaudio.com for more info and make sure to subscribe to the Universal Audio YouTube channel for more tips and tricks. I'll see you next time.